When it comes to JJK, Gojo is a character that belongs on the most favorite category for a bunch of the fans. But for me, it's a little different. My belief is that Gojo held purpose in the series. That's it. Now, I won't say he's not cool or there isn't anything to like, but for me, I mainly cared for how important he was to the JJK storyline. So when he came back, hype and foreshadowing came with him. That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's the MVP! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! <laughs> I got happy because we haven't seen Gojo in a long while. Even if it was for the betterment of the story, he came back. So what's finna happen? It's one of the biggest fights in the story, so will there be extra care given to the beginning, like a Hunter Hunter training arc? Because again, this fight is big, so what's finna happen in the lead up? Could you pay me in advance? <laughs> Are you serious? The start was the time skip. The time skip is what really started my downhill spiral of disinterest. Because when Gojo came out, my excitement reached a high level. Then when a date came for the fight, I was like, okay, this is where we get a trainee arc for a couple of chapters. It just made sense based on the length of time towards the date and how big of an event this was. But do you know what Gege does? Skip everything to the current fight giving us breadcrumbs of information causing lots of confusion for a long while. I got angry. I just couldn't take this dumb shit because we definitely had time. This ain't Shibuya where everything happened in one day. They had a month of downtime with the gang in the present moment till a time skip could happen. But nope, said Gege, and here we were in the fight already. Now, we did get some flashbacks sprinkled around the arc, but I don't care for that because it literally could have been in the present moment and it wasn't. And then the ending of the Gojo v Skuna fight happened. Gojo gets off screen. Wait a minute. Off fucking screened and we get a wall of goddamn text talking about how it happened. And I'm supposed to be satisfied with that. A bunch of YouTubers I've seen, they were like very satisfied with this. I swear to God, the people who love JJK so much, these niggas were like, oh my God, this is so good. Get, get cooked here. I'm like, are you fucking serious? This was dog shit. And this is my opinion and it will stay with me. I will never change my opinion on this Gojo situation because I feel like it's so dumb. This was one of the biggest fights in the series, dog. A fight that's been on waiting for such a long time. It's completely understandable for Gojo to die based on thematics and the tension needed for Skuna as a villain. Because like I already said in the beginning, Gojo matters heavily to the story. But this was not it. Should have been done different. Not a whole chapter dedicated to some dreamlike state instead of showing us how he actually died. You talked about it. You fucking talked about it instead of just showing us this is ass. <laughs> Gojo the character most niggas talk about. This nigga sells the merchandise and he had an off-screen death. This whole situation rocked me as a fan of the series because I like Gojo. Even if I have reasons of my own to like him, I still liked him and understood his importance. I don't care how much Gege hates Gojo. This character is so important and the way he went about writing this was ass. To me, it was complete garbage. Off-screening shit like this is wild and upsets the shit out of me because there could have been many, many different ways to take this. But Gege, in all of his wisdom, thought of this because he wrote it in. That's all that really comes down to. He just wrote it in. This motherfucker makes an author comment acting like, you know what? Maybe I missed something. Yeah, nigga. Yes, you fucking did. And that's all I got to say. So be sure to like, subscribe, share the video with the rest of your village. The comment section is down below for you to use. Be sure to be respectful. And yeah, I am out.